Alright, what's up guys, this is Sergio, and uh, today I'm be showing you how to do ramp slow mo in Adobe After Effects. So, yeah, so basically what uh, ramp slow mo is, is um, it's basically just slow mo that progressively gets slower to the point, uh, to however slow you want it to get, and then when it gets to that point, it progressively goes back to normal speed. So, uh, it looks and sounds really nice, and it's just, uh, yeah. So first thing you do, you get your clip, and uh, I'm gonna get a skate. I'm gonna use a skate two clip because uh, playing skate two lately, been bored of COD, and uh, you, but uh, you could do this with any clip, any type of game, Call of Duty, skate. Uh, a lot of people skate what is Jesus. Um, yeah. So go to the point where you want it to start. Go to where right here. And you drag that to where you want it to start. Make sure it's where you're at. <coughs> Put that at zero seconds. Make sure it's all good. Find the part where I gotta find the part where I want the actual thing to end the clip. Because I recorded with the PVR, so. Make sure that's all good. So, all right. So now, once you uh, finally got your clip to the point where you want to start, you gotta right click, go to time, and then en enable timer mapping. And uh, it's basically just a fancy word for uh, slow mo. Basically, that's all it is. So now, what you need to do next is go to the point where you want the slow mo to start. Right about there. So you click this diamond over here to set a keyframe for it so it knows where to start. And then you want to go to where you want the slow-mo to end. We'll do it right when he catches the board. There. Click there. And another thing, um, I, I totally forgot to say this. Um, <coughs> your composition time, you want it to be a, a couple seconds longer than the actual clip itself. Um, because you need to have room for the slow-mo. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact, just a nice estimate. And then once you've actually put the slow-mo in, you can, uh, uh, you'll figure out where, how long the composition is going to need to be. And another thing, you need to make sure the frame rate is the same as your clip. Otherwise, if it's not, it's not going to look good at all. So, I'm going to just leave it at 10 seconds. Um, I probably won't need 10 seconds, but need room zoom in a little so now you, what you need to do is click graph editor and just go ahead and make sure your settings are all the same down here same as mine yeah so first thing you do you drag this line right here between the two dots, make sure it's in between. All right, right here, and you drag that to the right. Make sure you keep it at one second. You see how if I go up, it goes one point zero six, goes down. Keep it at one second exactly, and just make it however long you want. This is about right here is about fifty percent because zero is right there. So once you got it to how slow you want it to be, you want to get this right here, this little open box. Click it, and you want to make sure, see how it says 3 seconds and 10 keyframes? Right there, you want to make sure it stays the same. And all you do is drag this up. Stay at 310. Don't worry, you can go off a little. Just make sure you get to 1 second on there and then go back to 310 and then you go over here you do the same thing click the open box keep it at 3 seconds and 41 or whatever time yours is at and just drag it up keep it on right there and that's all you need to do oh it looks kinda off
Whoa, okay. Oh no, it's good. And yeah, that's basically that's basically all you need to do. So now once you got that done, uh, obviously part of it's gonna be cut off because you made it longer. So just drag it out. And I'm gonna find where I had to stop again because make sure it's all lined up good and now you go to your composition settings because now you know how long the clip you want it to be change it to the same over here so 7 seconds and 13 keyframes click OK and yeah so once you do that you can click over here you can go to composition preview ramp preview <coughs> what that does is just it um it pre-renders it for you so you can see what it'll look like once it's fully rendered before actually even rendering the clip and um, once it gets all the way to the end it'll automatically play and yeah it's basically sounds sounds really nice it looks really nice on skate videos call of duty videos it sounds nice when you uh, when you shoot the bullets rather than just Twixter because Twixter is kinda gay <coughs> so yeah so once you do that you go to composition click make movie and this is important you make sure you click lossless alright um, because you're gonna wanna keep the audio on the clip because that's the really important thing because it stretches the audio for you once you some uh, time frame this H.264 and then important thing this is crucial you got to check mark the audio output so it renders the sound of the clip as well and so yeah that's basically it then you just hit render drag it in on the Vegas or Final Cut Pro whatever you're using and uh, you got your clip and here it is right now so you guys can see what it looks like and I uh, hope this helped you guys out and, and uh, don't forget to comment and like uh, if you guys want more tutorials just let me know just let me know what you want to see and I will do my best to make them for you and yeah love y'all bye